The patient has an order for 45 milligrams of the medication. How many mLs would you administer? So in order to solve this by ratio and proportion method, I'll do the linear first, and we are going to look at the label, which tells us that there are 15 milligrams per 5 mLs, so that is our known. So we're going to put 15 milligrams is to 5 mLs as 45 milligrams, which we find from the question. 45 milligrams, which you do want to put in the first position over here because we have milligrams in the first position over here. And then we will put XMLs because that is what we are solving for. We're trying to find out how many milliliters we're going to give the patient. Milliliters is in the second position in the first ratio, so it must be in the second position in the second ratio. The next step is to multiply the means and the extremes, or innies and outies. So we have 15 times x is equal to 45 times 5, which is 225. Sorry about that, that should be a 5. And then the next step is that we need to get x by itself. In order to do that, we must divide by what is next to x. What you do on one side of the equation, you must do on the other side. 225 divided by x, excuse me, 225 divided by 15 is equal to 15. And you don't want to forget your labels, which is what is next to x. So our answer is 15 mLs. Now you can also set this up as a fractional ratio and proportion. In order to do that, you still want to start with your known, which is that 15 milligrams is in 5 mLs of the medication. And then it's going to be equal to 45 milligrams over x mL. You, again, you do want to put the milligrams in the top part, the numerator on the right side, so it must be in the numerator or the top part on the other side. You have milliliters in the bottom part or the denominator on the left side, so you do want it in the bottom part or the denominator on the right side. For the fractional ratio and proportion, you do want to cross multiply to solve. So this would be 15 times x, which is 15x, is going to be equal to 225. And then we solve it the same way as we did the linear. You're going to divide by what is next to x, which is 15. What you do to one side, you must do to the other, because both sides should be even. And you get 15 milliliters.